Hello, this is a demonstration of lab number six. In this mode, I am showing the output of the accelerometer after the smoothing filters output. So I'll turn off my smoothing filter completely with these two switches here. And maybe you can see that it's jumping around quite a bit. Okay, now uh, if I just move it, it's very hard to hold it steady on a number. It's just jumping around too much. So I'll turn on the smoothing filter to its maximum length. This is 16 taps long, and it becomes a lot more controllable. Still difficult to hit a specific number, but uh, it's, it's better. All right, so I'm gonna press reset. Oops, sorry, wrong one, this one. That's reset. And uh, let's go ahead and lock in some numbers. You notice that this, uh, my accelerometer, goes from minus 250 up to positive 250 or thereabouts. Here you can see up to 230, minus 230, and zero when it's flat, and it goes up to positive, uh, I've gotten a little past 250. You can see it there, 250. Okay, so next let's go ahead and start the calculator. So I'm going to first lock in the uh, two numbers. So there you can see the LEDs lit. Let's lock in a, well, let's say a fifth, well, let's try to get it to 60. Okay, 60, or close to 60. And uh, let's pick 100 and, 110 or nine. All right, now we check and see what numbers we actually got locked in. I'm gonna turn my, one of my switches off. I got the dashes because it's an invalid configuration. Yep, the first number I got was a 60. And the second number is 108. Okay, so 60 plus 108. Uh, this better be 168. Yep, that looks good, 168. And then uh, 60 minus 108. So that should be a negative 48 if I'm doing that correctly. Yep, minus 48. All right, so that's the demo of, the, uh, of lab six.